Bethesda have announced another edition of Skyrim. They've joked about this for a long time, but no one seriously believed they'd have the gall to do it again. After the Standard Edition, the Legendary Edition, the Special Edition, the Switch Edition, the VR Edition, and the Alexa Edition, fans believed that it was impossible for Bethesda to even think about releasing Skyrim yet again. But here we are. Skyrim's Anniversary Edition will be an enhanced version of the Special Edition and entail over 500 Creation Club elements, which are essentially mods that have been polished to a DLC standard. We all know what another edition of Skyrim means. The temptation to sink another 200 hours into this masterpiece will just be irresistible. So if you're going to commit to another playthrough, you best prepare now. So here are a dozen or so tips and tricks you should know before playing the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim yet again. Mages are some of the game's most formidable enemies. You'll need all the help you can get if you want to stand a chance. That's why the Book of Love is one of the first quests you should aim to complete. You can pick this quest up at the Temple of Mara from Dinya Balu, who will send you on a mission to earn the blessing of the God of Love. You'll have to firstly help solve a love triangle in Ivarstead before heading to Markarth to aid Calcimo pull a woman named Feline. Finally, you'll need to help two lovers who are lost beyond the pale of death, reunite. Help find the bodies of the deceased couple, reunite them, and then collect your reward back in Riften. The reward is more than worth the hassle. You're granted a permanent blessing that grants 15% magic resistance. This boon should make any encounter with hostile mages far easier. A problem common to every Skyrim player is being consistently overburdened. It's tempting to snatch up every piece of worthwhile loot you can find, but you'll quickly find yourself slowed down by all the gear. Early on in the game, you won't own a house, so storage will be an issue, but you can actually use Anise's cabin near Riverwood as a safe space to store your loot, after you've dealt with Anise, of course. If you're looking for a weapon that will pack a punch early on, then look no further than the Long Hammer. This is a Warhammer recoverable from Liar's Retreat. It's unique because it's far faster than the average Warhammer without compromising damage. The only issue is that you need to wrest the weapon from the dead, sacrificed corpse of a bandit inside a lair that's been overrun with Falmer. Even if you have this hammer equipped, then take my advice and run like the wind from the troll on the steps of High Hrothgar. This beast scared the shit out of me when I first played the game and trolls are incredibly hard to kill because they regenerate over time. It's not worth the challenge, just peg your way up the 7000 steps and pray that you'll lose the three-eyed death machine on the way. If you want to significantly boost your chances of survival in situations such as this, then bag a companion that's immortal. Serana is possibly the best because of her magical abilities and vampirism, but you'll have to be willing to complete the opening act of the Dawnguard questline to acquire her. Alternatively, Dakethus or Miol are good shouts. They'll also carry your burdens, meaning you'll have even more space for the useless, uh, I mean valuable stuff you loot on your journeys. There are some spells that you can cast passively whilst traversing Skyrim's beautiful terrain. The Muffle spell or the Detect Life spells are but two examples. Both will level up your Illusion and Alteration skills respectively, providing a quick way to boost the pace at which you level in game. It might be slightly tedious to incessantly cast these spells, but it's worth it in the long run. Skyrim's most controversial quest is perhaps the Parthenax Dilemma, where the leader of the Blades, Delphine, asks you to slay the dragon that's taught you everything you know as Dragonborn. You'll need to kill Parthenax if you want to advance the Blades questline. On my first playthrough, anticipating that I was missing out on something worthwhile, I diligently slayed the dragon. But with hindsight, don't bother. Parthenax isn't worth killing, and the Blades questline from there on is mediocre. It mostly includes Radiant quests and finding recruits for the rekindled order of dragon hunters. Watch my full video on Delphine's idiocy if you want to find out more about the stupidity of the Parthenax dilemma and why you should actually let the dragon live. This brings me to my next point. You don't need to rush the main quest. There's a real sense of urgency to do so. The dragon threat is imminent and every character involved in the main quest line will tell you that the world's in existential peril. Technically it is, but chill. You have time to complete as many side quests as you want before you even have to step foot inside Bleak Fool's Barrow. Become a master assassin, a nightingale, a soldier, or an archmage, and then come back to the main story. Take time to read. One of my biggest tips would be to collect and pour through some of Skyrim's many texts. The Wolf Queen is one of my absolute favourites. The tale is one of a tragic figure destined for notoriety, but never for greatness. 
It also complements the Wolf Queen quest in game two. So you'll not only experience some fascinating stories by reading Skyrim's plethora of material, you'll also actually learn about the universe's lore, which can be especially useful if you've not played the previous games. My final tip might sound somewhat unethical, but it's to steal. Stealing in Skyrim is incredibly easy. If you're ever strapped for cash, just break into someone's home, put a bucket on the resident's head, and you're good to go. If you follow the tip I mentioned earlier about casting muffle all the time, you'll probably be hard to detect even if you're not a stealth build with that spell active, making theft that much easier. So there you have it, a bunch of tips for when you inevitably decide to play Skyrim again because of the new anniversary edition. I wish you all the best for your next playthrough and until next time, take care.